Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So people we're going to be competing with the TV a little bit but I'm just checking in for a moment. I think you can see <laughs> I am struggling. Yes. Um, I never know. I always have allergies and sometimes it's just from dust. Sometimes it's from petting my dogs without washing my hands. Um, this time, my husband had turned on the air conditioner and the filter needs to be changed and whatever magical things came out. All of a sudden, I was having allergies and my eye was going crazy and so on. My, so is my congestion. So, unfortunately, though many things have improved with my plant-based vegan diet, some things I continue to struggle with and this is one of them. So I'm going to give myself a break, but I wanted to check in because I still want to do a video on migraines and how I got through the migraines and also on acid reflux, which are two that people inquire about a lot. And so I would like to tell those stories, which I will most certainly do. If you're doing part of my 30 day challenge of posting your vegan pics of vegan food, I would love that. Today was day 10, but if you're just starting, you are right on time. You know, you're right on time, whether you're posting them on your page, on my Facebook page, um, whether you're posting them on Instagram or just taking pictures for yourself. Uh, my little sister had encouraged me to start showing my food again, and I'm more than happy to do so. I'm also competing with this baby fly. <laughs> so if he decides to visit, we'll let him. Anyway, this is me struggling, but still wanting to show up. It's kind of funny because it reminds me of my Jekyll and Hyde personality when it comes to my food and how I tend to be completely on or completely off. And there's very little in between. So if someone just saw this part, <laughs> they see this completely struggling person, right? Red eyes, congested, cannot breathe out of this side of my nose, I'm a wreck. Then if they see this exact same person, um, happy, alert, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, right? But can we really escape those two sides of ourselves? No, we can't. Um, so this is something that I go through every day for people who are new to my channel. I often mention this, that at some point every day temptation comes knocking. And that's kind of this side of me, right? A kind of insecure, physically uncomfortable, trying to find balance um, versus this side, which is confident, on task, ready to succeed. And I kind of deal with this dual personality every day. And I say that at some point every day, there's a knock at my door and inevitably it's temptation of some kind. And it's just a matter of whether I have not just the grace and courage to not answer that knock, but a plan. You absolutely need a plan, right? And on days that I am less planned, I fall to the nonsense. So anyway, I'm like physically hurting literally from this. So I'm going to wrap it up. But I just wanted to check in and let you know that I do have some more healing testimonials that I'd like to share. Um, I wanted to share, I got more bracelets from my little uh, kids at summer school, which was so cute and kind. And today was chaos for me. I literally woke up and was ready to get out the door and right away the toilet was overflowing not from the base but from the back like coming out the lid which was really weird and a mess that I couldn't deal with then I ran to my car uh, to get ready to go I had forgotten my phone I opened up the garage to get it set off the alarm could not figure out what the code was or how to turn the alarm off finally the alarm company was coming you know calling warning my husband blah, blah, blah. I finally talk to them, give them the special code, get it turned off. The minute the lady hangs up, the alarm goes off again. I open the front door, I run out to my car and find the key fob to literally turn it off, get my phone. I'm ready to go again. I go to pull out of the driveway only to see that all of the trash cans, and our trash cans are heavy and they're full of horse dung, right? They've got muck in them. And, uh, that are four trash cans and then the neighbor's trash cans and the neighbor's trash cans were sprawled all over the street and even torn literally the plastic torn apart a car very obviously 
had hit into all of those. At first I thought it was in kids, just, you know, being terrible. And then I was like, no, that impact had to have been a car. So then all of a sudden I'm calling the sheriff. I'm trying to report what happened. There's no way I can stick around and still make it to school on time. I finally had to go. It turned out a neighbor had a video and actually videotaped it, but they couldn't find out who, you know, the car's license plates belonged to. But that's kind of how the day started. It was crazy. And I made it through the whole day and I did have a great time with my kids and they loved the water play and everything else and then I ended up driving to see my nephew Dean. If you're new, my nephew Dean had OD'd uh, from Whippets, which are like these little helium things if you're familiar, um, a year ago on Super Bowl Sunday. Sorry for the noise. My hearing impaired husband is trying to listen to Elvis Presley. <laughs> I actually love music, but not when I'm trying to talk. But anyway, so I went and visited my nephew, uh, still being neglected in his situation. Prayers welcome. And uh, it took me hours and hours to get home. But anyway, here I am. And I have things I need to still do trying to wrap up summer school. And I'm, I'm just very blessed. In terms of my food, it was shaky today. I will tell you that. Um, I definitely got in my 20 cups of water. And part of that is because I love to put tea. So I just drop a tea bag in this basically 10 cup container. And uh, fun flavors. And then all day long. I just drink and I easily get in my 20 cups, which is so important when you're living in the high desert, right? Um, so that part was good. But in terms of my food, I'll tell you what shakes me up. Every time I have a plan and then something goes wrong, but I should just expect that something might go wrong and have a secondary plan. That's my new goal because I will tell you, I don't mean to be super controlling with my food, though that's very common for a compulsive overeater, right? But when I do, when I am controlling and something goes wrong, it can be that tiny little margin that makes me say, screw the whole thing. And I just go right off my plan. So anyway, I am ready for tomorrow. I have a plan. I'm going to be successful and I'm proclaiming it now. But it's not just about proclaiming it. It's also about writing it out. So I am writing it out and I will be talking you to, to you tomorrow and most likely about migraines. But right now, I'm going to take this Juliana and care for her while this Juliana says, but can't we stay up? We're having such a great day. <laughs> it's that's a no, a hard no. All right, my friends, like me, like 20s. If you haven't subscribed, let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, best of all, um, know that you're blessed.